Hey guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial where we are building this CMS application using ASP.NET Core 3 and Angular 10. In the last video tutorial, we discussed about building the Angular app. I showed you an extended demo of some features that was not part of the demo video tutorial that I had uploaded early, earlier when I started this video tutorial series. Going forward, we'll be working on the Angular application. So in the CMS Core NG project, we have already upgraded the version of our Angular application. When we initially started this project, I showed you how to upgrade the version of the application. If you have started watching the video tutorial series from this video tutorial, then if you can download the uh, source code from DevOps repo, you will find out that the, in the package.json file, we have already upgraded the version of the application to version 10. So you don't have to do anything if you have downloaded the source. Now, the next thing that we want to do from here is start building uh, components that we require. We have a bunch of components that we will build and these components basically form the application in different parts which come together and make one full application. So let's start working on the uh, components. So right click on your client app and I'm going to open this uh, folder inside terminal. Now one more thing to note here is that you can use some other development environment like Visual Studio Code as your IDE or code editor to build the front or the client app. That's because Visual Studio Code is much preferred when we built in uh, single page applications and I'm continuing working on the Visual Studio IDE and I'll just use this ID. I don't want to now mix up two things. But yes, if you prefer to use a different ID while working on the Angular framework, you're free to do so. And I recommend you to do that because in most scenarios, uh, in real time scenarios, people do use ID for SP.NET Core and Visual Studio Code for Angular or other framework applications building. So up to you guys. So here what I'm doing right now is I am trying to build some components in the application. So to generate our first component inside the client app, I will run the command ng generate component and the name of the component. So we'll, we, are, we need a about us page in our application. So I call this component as about us and this component will then be generated. So now let's go ahead and hit enter. Doing this, uh, you will see that there are certain files that have been created in the ter uh, terminal. You will see in the output. And if you go to the source folder inside the app folder, you will see this component generated with all the files that you see here. Okay. So now the component has the spec file also generated, which is basically used for testing. So we can ignore this at this point. And there are certain flags that you can add while running the command to prevent uh, creating this spec file. So if you look at the component uh, right now itself, it has three main files that we will be using, which is the CSS, which contains the style sheet for that component. We'll be adding the style or the CSS styling inside this particular file. The .html is basically the body of the uh, uh, component. And the TS file acts as a controller that will have the logic to manage this component. So we have created the about us component. Let's go ahead and quickly add the remaining components that we would need. So I'm first trying to create all the components that we need. In this way, I have all the components ready. And then we start working on the logic of each component. So I need a contact us page as well. So I'll create that. Then I also need to build a view for forgot password. So I'm going to create a component for that. I would need to generate a component for my home page view. So I'm going to generate that component. Then I need to also generate a component for the uh, login view. So I'm going to create a component for that. Obviously I have a login view, so I would also have a register view. So I'm going to create a component for that. 
and uh, as I showed you in the demo we have a view for sending the code the two-factor code so I'll call that component as send code I have a view called as terms which shows the terms and condition of our application so I will call that component as terms clear this and I want to have a component for validating the code if there's a failure or if the code is expired anything okay so these were the components that I created now I need one more component uh, which will be the user component which will have the user settings user profile user activities and so on so I'll go ahead and create this user component and now I can go to the app folder and I should see the following components that I have been that I've created in from the terminal command I should see them here in the app folder of my application there's one more component that I would need that will be the navigation menu so I'm going to create that component as well so let me add that I forgot to do that so I'll call it as nav menu right so now I have the navigation component created as well so these are the components that we will be using in our application for this CMS app tutorial and uh, I recommend you to now go ahead and start creating this component run the command and create this components once these components are created we need to go ahead and add routing in our application so we can route to these components in our application so if I want to go to the home page we will create a route for home page if I want to go to the terms page I'll create a route for the terms page and if I want to go to the login or register page I'll create a route for the login or register page so we need to go ahead and create certain routes so in the next video tutorial I will show you how to create routes and how to lazy load the routes that you don't need to load initially when the application loads so if the user wants to visit our website and wants to go to the home page there is no point loading the user profile or the user settings uh, page because we don't know if the user wants to go to those views so we need to lazy load these views so we will discuss this in the next video tutorial where I will show you how to implement routing and how to route through these uh, views or components and how to lazy load them so for this video tutorial what we have done is just created components that we will be using for the CMS application so the code once again will be found in the video disk uh, in our DevOps repo and the link is in the video description do not forget to like and subscribe our channel Tech Howdy.